2023 i'm not sure what the plan is i don't necessarily have a plan right now and that's kind of scary i'm uncomfortable <laughs> Did you smile today? Hey, did you smile today? Hey, did you smile today? How you doing? Happy Black History Month and happy 2023. Does anybody else's 2023 really start in like February and not January? January is kind of meh. It's kind of long. It's just, uh -huh. how y'all been? This is going to be a life update. I'm just going to be talking while I do my makeup to film some TikToks. Shout out to my little sister for giving me all new makeup products. I'm so excited. This is the Milk Hydro Power Grip. You know, the one that everybody be talking about. This is only my fourth or fifth time wearing this. I don't know makeup every single day it got that bounce that little grip power that's supposed to be having it got that fenty beauty concealer but how y'all been how y'all doing okay as usual we have to start with the previous year recap 2022 Mm, mm, mm. A lot has happened. While I wait for my concealer to dry, I do have my planner here. I always write down my yearly goals and let's just go over my 2022 goals that I wrote down. Earn my MFA in fiction writing, you guys. I graduated. <laughs> I graduated in October. Yeah, yeah, I did it. I did it. I don't know if I already said that. I think I did. I did it. So get my master's degree. Check. Travel more. I've been on a plane a lot in 2022 for different reasons. Mostly family reasons. But I did go to Atlanta for the first time. And that was a lot of fun. The aquarium was my favorite part. Read five books. I read more than five books. Find a job I enjoy. We're still working on that. Make a doctor's appointment. Still working on that. Work out more. I did work out more. I did take working out more seriously. But I did slack off because my gym membership expired. And I've not bought a new one yet. Gained 500 followers and subscribers. Have you subscribed yet? We're still working on that. Okay, okay. And continue to grow and stay more positive. The positive thing, I was so positive until September. Let's just get into it. Let me take y'all into my mindset for a minute. 2022, January. January was pretty good. January is always like pretty long to me. February, February was good. You know, black excellence. I got to meet a lot of black writers on campus that I did not know were there. March, April, that's like the end of the seasonal depression. So it's kind of like a bittersweet, like it's a lot of up and down days, especially with like daylight savings. May was pretty down, but I tried to stay high because I was moving out of New York and I was really sad to move out. I was gonna miss my friends a lot. Rent was just getting higher and higher. At last minute was like, actually landlord, I kinda wanna stay, but then my landlord was like, too bad, we already gave your apartment away. So I was like, oh, I don't like talking about it. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't wanna say it for real. I just felt something. I don't really wanna say it, but my parents got a new house. So we moved from my childhood home. I've been at that house all my life. Grew up there. I've been at that house since 1997 until 2022. It's almost been a full year and I'm still upset. <laughs> I've talked about it to friends. I've talked about it to family. I've tried to get over it, but this new house, it just doesn't feel like home. A lot of my writing starts off with the house that I imagine is my childhood home. I kind of imagine my parents' grandkids running around that house. Like I've imagined that house just being our house. Moving was a lot on top of being in New York. So they packed up most of my stuff. I finally found everything. I've been looking for everything for a while, but I finally found everything. And I'm trying to make my room look, mm, trying to make my room look and feel like home. Even though the house itself does not feel like home yet, I want my personal space to feel like home. So move back home and then June, July, August was the thesis. A lot of procrastination, but the thesis got done, okay? We graduated in October. As soon as October, the graduation announcement was, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm done with school. What am I gonna do next? That depression started spiraling. I was like, I need to move out. It was hard to find a job. It still is right now, hard to find a job. There's a part of me that's like very upset that I'm still living with my parents. And there's a part of me is like, we are in a recession be blessed that you get to live with your parents. And I keep going back and forth between these thoughts. You guys are gonna really get the real me right now. I keep going back and forth between these thoughts. Some days I'm like really, really happy. I get to have dinner with my parents. When my sister visits from college, I get to see her cause she's close by. But other days I just feel like a burden to them. I do. That's how I've been feeling. And in November, Thanksgiving was weird. Not gonna get into it. December, I turned 25, 25 years old. I had a mental breakdown, only one. I had one mental breakdown 
in one mini mental breakdown and I know it's gonna be a lot more this year because I feel like I'm in my core life crisis and that's fine I expected it so it's like if I get a little bit upset that's fine that's okay and now we are back to January I'm so glad that on social media I saw that not that many people were too excited about 2023 I know it's gonna be a great year and you know the year is what you make it and there could be endless possibilities I think it's a lot of trauma from 2020 that has me being like okay I'm gonna like mosey into 2023 humble still and also i graduated in 2020 i was excited for the new year because oh i'm graduating 2021 i'm like okay i'm excited for the new year because i only have one more year left of college 2022 i'm like wow college is done so now 2023 i'm not sure what the plan is i don't necessarily have a plan right now and that's kind of scary it's like life is a surprise but I don't want to be surprised. <laughs> and there's a lot of questions about, well, what do you want to do? I love content creating. I love making videos for you guys. So since I've been home, I've been grinding with my videos, trying to film more, trying to edit more. Again, searching for jobs. And that's how that's been. Back to family wise, I think the family thing, even though sometimes I feel like a burden, I try my best to do the dishes, keep stuff clean, don't have my stuff be in the way. I try not to film too late at night while they're sleeping. My mom works from home some days, so I try to be quiet. You know, little things like that. I do plan on going back to New York. When will that be? I'm not sure. You're going to come with me, though. <laughs> Something else about staying at home. I have friends all over. I love, I love my friends. Little sprinkle here, little sprinkle there. Some friends are studying abroad right now. I got friends all over but the detroit friends part of me felt like now that i'm done with school and i'm coming back home i'm available let's hang out and i forget sometimes you have to remember that not only should you not put people on a pedestal but they have a life outside of your friendship and i feel like a few friendships might get tested this year i'm kind of nervous about that but i feel like a few friendships might get tested this year because whenever friends went MIA on me, let me blend this out so I get to the next thing. Tell me you cannot multitask without telling me you cannot multitask. Oh my goodness. What was I saying? I feel like a few friendships might get tested because before, whenever friends went MIA on me, it was usually, oh, well, you're focused on school, so I didn't want to bother you. But now that I'm done with school, what is your excuse? If life is happening to you, life is happening to me as well. So I get that part. But after a few months, I'm just like, where y'all at? What y'all doing? In my last life update, I kept talking about how I've been going on like friendship dates. And they've been so fun. But let me talk to you guys about like actual dating. I haven't, mm, I don't want to say I never dated before. I would say because I don't want any of the exes to be like, well, I don't, I don't want to hear that. I would say that majority of my dates have either A, I paid for them, B, I drove, C, they were just the movies, or D, <laughs> all we did was chill. Like Netflix and chill without without that stuff, just, just, just chill for hours. But let me tell you guys, in December, out of nowhere, a lot of people been hitting me up saying, hey, I've had a crush on you, I've always had a crush on you, or hey, I think we should date, and it's, it was weird. I think I said in my last life update, sometimes people hit me up every now and then. And usually I'm not in the state of Michigan, so I'm just like, oh, well, we can't, sorry. But now that people know that I'm back home, it's just, it's, it's been weird. And the, oh, I've always had a crush on you messages, it's, those are the weirdest ones. Cause it's like, did you? Are you sure? <laughs> like, I know I'm cute, but are you sure you've always had a crush on me? Cause I didn't know. Let me not add too much. This is the bronzer, the Juvia's Place bronzer in the color dark. And I'm also using their mirror. I'm not exactly sure where to put bronzer. I kind of just like put it where I would put contour. I stopped using my contour palette ever since I got this palette. This is the blush palette in volume five. I love me a little. I've been loving blush more and more lately. I probably wear too much, but I love blush. But back to this weirdness. So you telling me that you've always had a crush on me. But for some reason, you just decided not to tell me until recently? I don't know. I asked my dad about it because I am a daddy's girl. And my dad said around this time, like around this age, that's when a lot of people from your past will start to like try to weave back in and like just just weave back in. And it's up to you to decide who to, who to weave out. And it just caught me off guard for a minute. I was like, I'm flattered, shocked. It's speechless. But it got me thinking though, am I ready to start dating? <laughs> 
even though I do not have my own life together, am I ready to share a life with somebody else? Not really share a life with somebody else, we ain't gonna get that deep. It's more so cater to somebody else. Am I ready for that? And I will admit, I do have a crush. It's very hard for me to distinguish, do I like this person? Or do I like the idea of this person? And a lot of my dating history starts off as friendships. So it's like, are we just extremely good friends? <laughs> or do I actually like really, really like you? And I guess that kind of, I wonder if that's what they're going through. And that's why they said, hey, I've had this crush on you and I didn't know when to tell you because we're friends. Wow, I never, I didn't, I never thought of that. I don't know. I do know this, if I start dating, I want it to be like fun dates. Like the idea of the whole, that's a lot, I'm blended out. The idea of the whole candlelight thing that you see in movies, the idea is cute. But then you have to wait for your food and the awkward conversations and what if you don't really click like that. And I need some interactive dates. I need something where we're moving. Like we're distracted, but we could also have a conversation. Like, can we go bowling? Can we do a pottery class? Can we do a cooking class? Can we do go-karting? Like, stuff like that. I need to be active if I'm gonna date somebody. But until then, I'm gonna continue to go on my friendship dates when I can because I love it and I love spoiling my friends. Even though sometimes they'd be like, oh, you're doing too much. I love spoiling my friends. My friends tell me so many dating horror stories that it kind of makes me a little bit nervous. But that's why I want the fun dates. I need something genuine. I can't just... I don't want to just kick it. I don't want to just talk for hours and not see each other in person. I've done the long distance thing, never again. Not the camera about to die, I'll be back. What we learned today, kids, I cannot talk and multitask at the same time. While my camera was charging, I decided to add these beads. It looks so good. I'm feeling myself right now. Look, 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 look. I was kind of getting kind of nervous because while I was talking, I was looking at my makeup like, do I? For, did I forget what I'm doing? But I know what I'm doing. I've only recently become a lip liner girly. This is the NYX Lip Pencil in the color Espresso. I used to be against lip liner because I thought it didn't look good on me. I liked it on other people, but I didn't like it on me. And then I realized I don't like black on me. I need like a brown color. So this is like a nice, rich brown. I like to fill in the cupid's bow to look like Shigo or Kim Possible, the Shigo Kim Possible vibes, that's what I love. I just recently bought this and I have no idea how it will look. So let me take the tape off. I saw this on TikTok. The NYX Shine Loud Never Basic. And it's like the color and like a clear gloss. I cut my nails off, do I need scissors? Mm. Ow. Okay, I got it open. Ooh, this looks like a reddish brown. This looks nothing like the packaging this is the clear gloss right yeah it's the clear gloss okay we trying something together hold on hold on please be cute why is it so red am i supposed to shake it why is it why does it look so red i don't like that okay i'm still gonna use it but i'm gonna use it like kind of as like a lip stain okay it looks more brown in person and that was weird okay my usual go-to is the butter gloss but i'm actually going to use the fenty heat what color is this and hot cherry i want to i want a little bit of um a little pinky fenty heat this stuff is spicy yeah i look good yeah this is the final look i don't do eyeshadow all the time i've been practicing my base lately but what do you guys think i think to wrap up this life update i feel like i'm going backwards when i'm probably just going forward i'm just letting god guide me like take my arm and let's just go for the ride so i know that a lot of change is coming for 2023 a lot of mental breakdowns a lot of crying a lot of happy moments i'm just I would say I'm very nervous sighted. I'm nervous and excited. I did write down three main goals for the year. There's other little like mini things I wanna do, but the three main goals is to survive, <laughs> to create, and to just enjoy. Just enjoy the journey. Just enjoy the journey that you're on. And I can change it if I want. And I think I read it somewhere that it said that when you're uncomfortable, that means like you're really growing. I'm uncomfortable. But also for the channel, I wanna give you guys an update. I got a new camera. I got some new lights. We're about to up the quality. I'm super excited. I got a lot of video ideas planned that I'm done with school. I decided not to get my PhD. If you really think about it, I've been in school for like 18 years since kindergarten, so we're done with school for now. I might become a professor someday, but until then, <laughs> I'm done with school. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I do a lot of makeup videos on TikTok, so go ahead, follow me on TikTok if you haven't already. But give this video a thumbs up, a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.